हाय व्यूवर आई एम नदीम बिस्मिल्लाम वेलकम टू दी फारूक अकेडमी टुडे वी विल डिस्कस चैप्टर नंबर इलेवन एक्सरसाइज इलेवन ई बुक बी थ्री फर्दर टिग्नोमेट्री क्वेश्चन नंबर वन द फिगर शोज द पोजिशन ओ ए बी द फिगर शोज द पोजिशन एज यू हैव अ फिगर दैट इज गिवन टू अस द वैल्यू ऑफ ए इज थर्टी थ्री degree and another one is b which is given to 28 degree and another one is d uh, which is given to 39 degree and last one is that is we are given question that is 44 degree now we have to find the bearing of in a part we have been asked that a to e from o that is your central point is o and we have to start from north and clockwise direction how to find we have to start from o that is from north in clockwise direction up to a so up to a is this area and this area is equal to this degree is equal to 33 so the result is 33 degree in b part you have been asked that from b from o that will be equal to so b from o you have to start from o and up to b in clockwise direction and you have to sum all the angle that is 33 in this one and this one uh, you will get uh, that is equal to 90 plus 28 so your result is 90 degree plus 28 uh, it will give you 180 is your bearing now in part c c from o that is equal to uh, you have to start from o and in clockwise direction and up to c and that is equal to you have to add that is 180 plus this one and this angle how could you know this angle because that portion is your uh, 90 so you have to minus 90 minus 34 so uh, that is your uh, that will be equal to approximately uh, 46 degree so Uh, that is 180, 180 degree plus 46 degree equal to 226 degree is your required result. Similarly, in D portion, uh, you have been asked that D from O that is equal to. So you have to start from D uh, from O. in clockwise direction and you have to make revolution up to d so the whole angle should be added that is 33 plus this one plus this one and you will get the result so if uh, i add all these angles so you will get up to here 270 degree because we are well familiar to the basic principle that this is your 90 degree and at this you are 180 Uh, 90, 180, and 270, and up to here 360. That is, if we start from here, so so uh, we have to finish this point. So up to here, it is 360. So uh, in short cut, if I say that 360 uh, minus this one, so I will get the whole revolution. If I say that 360 degree, it is a complete one revolution. So minus 39. Uh, so you will get uh, 321 uh, degree. So that is very good. Otherwise, uh, uh, we can do by other method. If I add all these angles, that is 270 plus this one, and uh, up to here uh, 90, 180. 
270 270 plus this one you will get the if i know this value how could i know 90 minus 39 i i can find this uh, 90 minus 39 degree so that angle will be equal to uh, 51 degree so another method is that is uh, 270 plus 51 degree uh, also give you the same result that is 321 degree so here is your result now that is your question number one now coming to the question number uh, second in second question again you have been given a figure and you have to uh, solve uh, in question number two that is uh, the figure is we have to draw once again the given figure in question number two That is the result is we should draw a figure that one is like this again north from where we have to start that is like A point and that is uh, C point and uh, these two angles are given to you that is 47 degree and uh, 35 degree and this one is uh, 15 degree and this one is equal to B A B C that is your point P R O so we have to find the bearing of in further trigonometry we are discussing bearing problem bearing problem having a simple methodology that we have to start from north in clockwise direction and we have to stop up to uh, uh, which angle to be uh, determined so in question number 2a part we have been asked that a from p a from p once again from p means we have to take reference point as p and start uh, from here in clockwise direction up to a so once again up to this your value is uh, if we consider all this thing all this quadrant because in circle we have four quadrant that is your first quadrant second third and fourth in 360 having one revolution so it means 90 minus 35 you will get this so you can say that uh, how could I know this value so 90 degree minus 35 degree uh, you will get 55 degree in B part you have been asked that B from P so B from P so once again you have to start and clockwise direction up to here so that is your 180 up to this 180 so you can write 180 minus 15 degree uh, because if I travel the distance up to here so that is your equal to 180 so we don't need 15 so minus it so that is your result and that will be equal to 165 uh, that is your answer similarly in c part uh, c from p once again this uh, that is up to uh, c value that is you have to take a greater revolution up to this so the whole distance will be if i come up to here that is equal to 270 so 270 plus 47 it will give you the result so c from p so i have start in clockwise direction from p and up to c uh, that is equal to uh, 270 degree uh, plus 47 degree you will get 317 degree so that is good. similarly um, if i go p from a p from A so P from A it means from A means I have to start A up to this so it is a wrong method we cannot start from A or uh, anti-clockwise because we have to turn in clockwise direction so it means how could I know this so we have to use a reflex um, angle method uh, that is we have to draw uh, and produce a reflection of A so suppose that is the reflection of A 
and I have to travel a distance once again I have to move clockwise direction in from O so I have to turn uh, from O point that is up to here so how much this angle is so I have to um, uh, calculate it for example in your figure you see that up to here that is if I come that is 270 up to here 270 but I have to minus this one because 270 minus 35 because these are the uh, vertical angles it is also 35 because this one is 35 and we have uh, well familiar to the properties of vertical angles corresponding angles adjacent angles so it is a vertical angle so these vertical angles are congruent so it means this value is also 35 if I uh, come up to this point so it is uh, 270 degree minus 35 degree because we don't need 35 so you will get uh, 235 degree that is your result similarly now coming to the part E In part E, you have been asked that P from B. So P from B. We have already calculated B from P because we have to start P taken as a reference point and turn in a clockwise direction. Now uh, B we cannot draw anti-clockwise like this. So once again I have to take the uh, reflex angle so B having reflex this one if I produce in backwards so which is a reflex of B and I have to start by the same method because I am bound to uh, move in clockwise direction so start from here start from here and come across up to this so you will have uh, greater distance that is if I come up to this that is equal to 360 or one revolution should be completed here so uh, it is easy to me that if it is 360 so I could minus this portion so uh, I could minus this portion so I will get the uh, remaining result so it should be how much this distance is so I subtract because I don't need our green color is up to this because it flex of this so how much this we are well familiar with the vertical angles as we have discussed here 35 and vertical angles is 35 so 15 also a vertical angle of it here the result is also 15 so minus 15 degree so you will get uh, the result that is 345 your uh, result uh, similarly uh, if I say that uh, part F P from C so P from C so C to P impossible so it is the uh, P from C mm. uh, where is the C uh, C actually this point is so I have to draw a clockwise direction up to uh, C R what is the reflex of C we have to draw first the reflex of C because we cannot move in anti-clockwise so the reflection of C is like this so that is the reflex angle so start from the same methodology and come up to here so what is the uh, value of this so that is your 90 and uh, plus this one once again vertical angle so this one is 47 so uh, here is also 47 so reflex angle so you say that 90 plus 47 you will get the result so 90 plus 47 degree you will get uh, 137 degree that is your result uh, we have completed question number 2 now coming to the question number 3 in which uh, once again you have been given a diagram and first of all you have to draw the graph a diagram you will be able to see 
what type of demand the author of this book has so for example in question number three you have been given a diagram that is uh, uh, the figure shows the position of pq or the bearing of we have to find the bearing so <coughs> for example that one is your diagram uh, which is given to you and That is your point P. Uh, here, there is a 37, there is 36 and 43 degree and this one is 100 degree. So the name of that is Q, R and P, Q, R. So the question is this, the figure shows the position of P, Q, R state, the bearing of Q from P and P from Q. First, in A part, uh, you have been asked that Q from P. Okay, Q from P. So you have to start Q from P. That is your Q from P. So you have to start, you take the reference point as P and up to this. So that is your 36, very simple. Uh, no problem that is uh, uh, 36 degree uh, b portion is uh, p from q that is equal to we have to say that we have to start p from p, uh, q so it means uh, you have to start from uh, q to p q to p okay now q to p is uh, for example you know the methodology of bearing that we have to draw a north point that is n and we have to start uh, up to uh, q so that is your uh, horizontal line so start from here up to p that is your distance so that is your 180 plus this one so 180 plus this one is your uh, result so how could I, how could I know um, what is the value of this angle? So once again, uh, in previous question we have discussed the corresponding angles, vertical angles, the adjacent angles. So this is the alternative angle because by the same methodology, if I draw the diagram here like this, so this angle is equal to the alternative angle that is your 36. So that will also be equal to 36 degrees. So due to alternative angle property, uh, P from Q is equal to 180 uh, plus 36. Uh, that is equal to um, that is equal to 216. Your answer. Similarly, in C part R from P, that is equal to uh, R from P once again r from p p to r okay p to r is uh, very much simple because p to r okay turn up to this so that is equal to 36 degree plus 37 degree it is equal to 73 degree similarly d portion p from r that is equal to 116 degree plus 37 degree plus 100 degree uh, and this is equal to 253 degree that is uh, from R to P you have to draw the line from R to P that is your uh, reference point that is your R R to that is the north point R to P okay that is the horizontal line turn up to this so which one is this, that angle adding so it, mm, it should be uh, plus and you will get uh, because uh, that is your alternating angles vertical angles so that is your uh, 116 and for example how could you know the these angles and this 
so this is the vertical angle so here is your 43 degree and similarly uh, and how much of this so the uh, remaining angle is uh, the sum of all remaining angle is equal to 253 because 37 also like that, that is for uh, 43 and vertical angle so that one is uh, uh, 100 and um, that angle is also equal to uh, this one uh, 180 minus 43 because this one is how much this one so you know that that is equal to 180 so if uh, 180 minus if i 180 minus 43 degree so it is equal to 37 degree so this value is 37 okay uh, uh, and uh, i should minus this angle also that is, is uh, 30 once again the uh, corresponding angle that is 37 we don't need also 37 minus 37 180 minus this one minus this one 43 mm, and uh, 37 you will get 100 so the angle is uh, 100 why should i write here the 100 because uh, i have to uh, write because this is the corresponding angle vertical angle we don't need so the remaining angle should be added like this 116 plus 37 plus 100 you will get 253 so uh, similarly uh, the next part is q from r that is q from r q from r q from r Uh, that is equal to uh, from R. We have to start from R. That is PQR. Um, R to Q. R to Q. That is your R to Q. Start from clockwise direction. R to Q. And how much is this? Uh, the value is. Uh, uh, the sum of this that is 253 degree plus 43 degree we, we should have to be plus uh, 43 and this one is uh, 100 degree so once again 100 and uh, that is uh, uh, after adding all these angles you, you will get up to here so you will get 253 plus 43 is equal to 296 Similarly, R from Q, that is your F part R from Q. Once again, <coughs> that is R from Q, R from Q. So you have to start from Q up to R, that is it. So we have only uh, two angles to be added, that is 73. Uh, we have to run from uh, Q to R, that is Q to R. That is how much angle is this one and this one. We have to add these angles of 36 and uh, 37 corresponding angle. So that one equal to 36 plus 37 and plus 43 degree. So you will get uh, 160 degree. So we have completed question number 3.
Actually, in bearing, you should must memorize this. You have to start from reference point up to the uh, that point, uh, which point to be calculated. So always uh, rotate in clockwise direction. So you cannot rotate anti-clockwise direction. So if there is a chance to rotate anti-clockwise, so you should use the reflex angle method or reflex angle property. But again, you have to move in a clockwise direction. So in question number four, uh, we have been asked that uh, we have to draw A, B, C, D, R, four corners of rectangular plot. E, D, C, D, R, four corners of rectangular plot. Okay, that is your rectangular plot we have to draw. And we see what type of calculation to be needed here. For example, uh, that is your reference point and we have to uh, draw. So we have a rectangular plot like this. And the A, C, and A, B, C, D. So, in this point, the rectangle part on the ground level, given that the bearing of B from A is 40, bearing of B, so bearing of B from bearing of B from A so it means that is your bearing of A from B so from A so that is your uh, 40 degrees it is given to you and the second one is that the bearing of C from A bearing of B from A is 90 degrees so it means if you start bearing from A to C that is equal to 90 degrees and it is also seen that it is um, 90 degree so calculate the bearing of number a part we have to calculate that uh, b from c b from c okay b from c we have to draw a reference point from c that is north and we have to draw b from c up to B. Okay. Now B from C. So uh, B from C. So now start from C and uh, that is equal to and you have to uh, draw B from C. That is calculate the bearing B from C. Okay, you have to uh, draw, uh, for example, uh, up to C. Where is the uh, C point? That is the C point C to B. But we don't have B here, so we have to draw first. Then it will be very much easy for us. For example, if I draw B like that, so that is your B point. Similarly, that is your point and this one so it will help us for corresponding angle for uh, vertical angles now uh, draw the bearing for example we start from in clockwise direction up to B okay we need all these values except this one so if I could know this one so um, our uh, simple methodology is that is your 180 to 70 or we have to add this one so uh, we are uh, well familiar with this fact that B from C that is the corresponding angle that is 40 and also your 40 180 to 70 that is 180 to 70 and plus this angle so you will get the uh, B from C is equal to 270 plus 40 degree. So you will get 310 degree. So this angle is 
added here uh, so uh, it is your 270 and plus uh, 40 degree because this angle and this angle corresponding angle so this one is also your uh, 40 degree if I draw uh, with the help of this because this angle can be seen here that is your 40 and also 40 so the it should be added here you know, because uh, the 40 angle after adding 270 you will get 310 because it needs because uh, bearing from C up to B so this angle must be added uh, because this angle is corresponding angle and that will be equal to 40 so we must add it so uh, now next is A from C so in B part A from C A from C that is equal to A from C A from C so A from C start bearing as A from C it means from C means ref C is a reference point up to A so that is equal to 180 plus 90 so here up to up to this you have uh, 180 degree and again uh, 90 degree so you will get 180 uh, plus uh, 90 so you will get 270 degree similarly coming D from C uh, D from C that is equal to D from C D from C ok start and complete it uh, that is B from C that is your uh, reference point is C and you have to turn up to D so you will get you have to uh, rotate and after rotation you will get uh, 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 from C to D C to D ok for example this one is like this so it is uh, more than 360 so what should we do using reflex property so by using reflex property that is uh, D should be reflexed angle property we should use here so now you have to draw up to this that is your this one that is 180 plus how much this one how much this one that is your corresponding ang uh, vertical angle vertical angle is also 40 degrees so uh, your result is 180 plus 40 degree uh, you will get 220 degree so that is your result uh, we have completed question number 4 now coming to the question number 5 ABCD is a 3 points uh, the reflex angle and to the so once again the reflex angle will be given to you you see and bearing of B from A is equal to 122 and bearing of C from B we have to calculate so first of all uh, you have to uh, draw the diagram uh, for example we have been asked that in question number 5 that is given to you that is angle A B is equal to 32 degree and A B angle C is equal to 86 degree which is given to you so bearing of B bearing of B from A is equal to 122 and we have to calculate that bearing of C 
from B. We have to calculate this one. So first of all, uh, we should have to draw a diagram. For example, uh, here is the point. Uh, that is your point uh, that is ABC. Three points are. That is a point A, uh, C, A, B, C. So, angle A is uh, 32 degree, but bearing is from B to A. From B to A is 122 degree. So if I draw the bearing, you know, actually this one is north coming from north and clockwise direction. So that is your up to this one is 122 degree. But this one is 32 degree is given to you. And uh, the uh, 86 degree is the angle B. That is A, B, C is. 86 degree so it means that is your 86 degree and by the sum of triangle angle you know the sum of interior angle is equal to 180 degree so the sum and after subtraction these two angles this angle is also can be calculated which is equal to 62 degree because 180 minus this one you will get this angle so now the question is this bearing of c from b from B we have to rotate up to C. So make the reference point that is and uh, up to C you have to mm, draw uh, that is up to C but it means you have to draw a reflex property and draw up to here. So you will get the uh, required result what is the value of these two angles so if i notice that 180 plus this one how much is this one if you know the value of this then you can easily recalculate because the answer is very simple uh, 180 here up to this is 180 degree so 180 degree plus how much that is your result and how could i know the value of the, this one so by using the property of corresponding angles and vertical angles you see here if i draw this line like this here what is the value of this one here the this angle is the vertical angle which is equal to also 62 so 90 minus 62 you will get this one and this one is approximately how much that one is 28 so this angle is 28 so by the same methodology this angle should be corresponding to the here value so here is also your result is uh, 28 so you are 28 degree if i plus here 28 degree so your result is 208 degree here is your answer because with the help of this point c we are able to find the unknown angles which are being helped in finding the corresponding angles so uh, bearing of b from c or uh, bearing of c from b means uh, this the angles of c is helping to us in in this calculation so question number five is completed now in question number six Question number 6, bearing of R from P is given to us, that is uh, bearing of R from P is equal to 135 degree and the angle P Q R is equal to 55 degree where P R 
cube is equal to 45 degree. Now we have to find in a power p from r. We have to find this one. Then in b case we have to find q from r. Similarly in last case we have to find but uh, in c part we have to find p from q. But bearing before bearing we should have to draw a diagram. Without diagram we cannot draw. For example that is your uh, p point and that is your Q point, that is your Q, that is your P and uh, that is your R point, that is your R point. If draw the bearing from P, so I must draw the north side, that is reference point and uh, I have to rotate here we have been given that up to this it is equal to 135 degree and here if I complete this it is 180 so how much this 180 minus 135 you will get here is 45 degree and uh, here this one angle Q is given to us that is 55 degree it is given to me and angle R is 45 it is also given to me then how much this one no problem the sum of interior angle minus 180 you will get this and it is equal to uh, 80 degree if i minus this so we have to find the bearing uh, in a part from r to q from r to q okay that is your uh, from that is your reference point I have to draw from R to Q in clockwise direction but it is not exact method we should use a reflex angle method that is up to this if I draw Q. so uh, that is your uh, from R R is the reference point R to Q so this reflex angle property that is uh, we should uh, have what is the uh, value uh, R to Q no because we have to draw R from P so it means from R to P okay so it it will not be stopped here if we read the questions carefully it is up to this so no problem mm, in uh, uh, in second part r from q we have to find up to in second case we have to find up to this value no problem in reflex property so in uh, reflex property r to q if we discuss uh, this so 180 plus this angle plus uh, uh, how much we have to use from q so basically there is the q basically q is uh, up to here that is uh, we have to uh, draw for example if we draw a north pole and someone asked me that find the p from q so i turn around up to this so here is the p but basically p is here p is this one then but here P is horizontal similarly here Q is horizontal so that is you have to R R from Q is actually is here uh, that is here up to this point so uh, R from R after rotation the angle up to here so that is your 180 plus this one plus this one so you will get uh, 180 uh, plus that one is uh, 35 plus 55 these two degrees should be added and you will get 270 degree and the question is this how could i know this is the value is? for example you see here once again bearing uh, p from r or bearing q from r help because we are taking bearing 
around r dot q help us in finding the angles for example here is the vertical angle it is also 55 degree so 90 minus 55 so if i reproduce this line uh, the, the line actually this one so here is the so if it is 35 uh, if it is uh, 55 then 90 minus 55 so it is equal to 35 so by vertical angle this is also 35 if i shift these angles up to here by the same methodology you will see here this angle is uh, mm, is uh, uh, 55 and that one is uh, 35 that one is your 35 and that one is your 55 if i shift this angle here is the 55 so vertical angle also 55 so here is your uh, 35 uh, the vertical angle also here 35 degree so these help us in finding bearing the r because q help us in finding the given angle so by adding all these you will get 270 similarly if i start taking bearing uh, from r to p for example uh, r to p so uh, you should be very much careful that uh, in this 270 270 and plus this one because here 180 270 but up to this this is the once again corresponding angle if it is 45 it is also 45 so uh, 270 plus 270 plus um, 45 270 plus 45 is equal to uh, 315 degree so that is the result bearing p from r so last one is bearing P from Q. Now we have to rotate Q up to P. For example, initially told you that it is up to here. So if I start from here, uh, once again 180, 270, it is up to 270. But you know the actual position is uh, 270, this implies that 270 minus how much? Because from Q to P, once again, you it should be noted that you don't need 35 degree angle because Q is starting, Q line is here. So it it should be it should be like. But in uh, methodology, we have to start from reference point. So it is to be noted that 35 no need because the Q from P up to this one. Our other method is if I draw the same line up to here. So I have to. Uh, calculate this uh, so in this method we don't need 35 it is up to 270 so 270 minus 35 degree it is equal to uh, 235 uh, degree is your result so uh, we have uh, completed uh, question number uh, uh, 6 now coming to the question number <coughs> 7 and that is your uh, requirement of this that the point is 24 km away at a bearing of um, point a bearing of 0 0.72 degree from P and from O a man walks at a bearing of 320 and we have to calculate these values now once again the figure or diagram is very much important here in bearing conditions because it is a very much interesting chapter if you having a command how to find the bearing if you don't have any enough information or uh, uh, you, you cannot uh, calculate easily so it will be a my very much boring chapter but uh, you have to study all these chapters to enhance your skills and knowledge. Uh, for example, now the question is this, the angle P is uh, given to you, that is P angle is given to you, that is 72 degree. 
and the value of PQ is 24 kilometer because here you see a point P uh, which is equal to which is away 24 kilometer and having angle um, 72 so this one is 72 degree and from P from P it is having 72 degree up to uh, R but from point Q it is uh, rotated uh, how much rotation if we read the statement this one that it is rotated about 320 so we find the bearing up to this one that is 3 so that will be your R so mm, that will be your R up to this PQR that is equal to 3 20 degree <coughs> now actually these these values are given to us and with the help of this we can find the bearing of R actually it is also given that bearing uh, bearing of R from uh, from Q is equal to 320 degree so what is the angle Q angle basically actually the bearing of this we have to find the interior and that is uh, P is 72 and what is the value of key Q so if I bear this it means that is your 180 then to 70 and if I complete this that is 360 so 360 should be uh, if I complete take complete one revolution that is 360 it should be minus uh, 320 so you will get the uh, value of this so that is equal to uh, uh, 40 degree so the angle Q is actually this one is actually your uh, 40 this one is your 40 this one is your 40 degree but we don't need this we need this so if I calculate it uh, because here is your um, 40 and what is the angle of this one so we have to minus it because we have a um, minus uh, 180 for example if I extend this R produce in our direction so you will see this this is your 180 and how much is this so the angle R is uh, bearing of R from Q so that is your R value of R because here you have calculated the angle R so R is uh, your 40 degree and what is the angle of Q so it is very much easy the sum of interior angle is 180 so plus these two minus 180 you will get this otherwise from here you can also find because here is your 40 degree and what is this because these are the alternative angles and what is this and you can find uh, here Q that is Q is equal to angle Q is equal to 180 if I take the whole round that is 180 that is 180 180 mm, minus uh, 40 and uh, how much is this one then you will get how much is this one this one is uh, uh, alternating angles which is equal to uh, for example if I extend this here is your 72 so how much is this one that is your 72 also because this is the alternating angle and due to this it is vertical angle it is also a vertical angle so it is also 72 so with the help of this we can find the alternative angles and 
alternative angle gives the vertical angle and we uh, come to this conclusion that 72 plus 40 minus 180 you will get this so 180 minus 40 and uh, minus 72 degree so you will get uh, 180 degree minus 112 degree and the Q is 68 degree angle Q is 68 so you are able to find angle Q which is equal to 68 degree it is a very much difficult task because we have to very much careful with the help of these angles but you must know the vertical angles corresponding angles alternating angles and one quadrant is 90 two quadrants are equal to 180 and three quadrants over 270 and one complete rotation is 360 these are few basic important things which you should must know then in part number one we are asking that in part number one now we have uh, to calculate the value of PR in a part we have in order to calculate PR QR that is uh, so by using a sign law by using sign rule or sign law that is sign q by pr is equal to sign r by pq that is your pq pq we use the sign r because the in front of a side angle we are taking angle and in front of a side so similarly if we take the sin q so we uh, we need the side pr that is your q so you need the side pr okay so that is your pq if you take the angle so this is a sign rule so putting the values we need pr you can easily calculate because by using a cross multiplication methods the, these values should be changed like this pr is uh, replaced here here sin q uh, divided by sin r and pq is multiplying by pq is multiplying so putting the values uh, in this formula you can calculate for example pq is uh, uh, your uh, 24 and sin r is uh, yes, that is your 40 sin 40 and q sin is your uh, 68 degree so by using calculator uh, you can find the values uh, that is pr is equal to uh, 34.6 uh, uh, that is the required result because the unit is kilometers so your answer will also be in kilometers so here is your required result similarly in question number 8 once again by the same method uh, we have to solve uh, but before question number 8 uh, in this part in question number 2 we have been given two parts we have to calculate the second part also because in B part we have to calculate QR so by again the by the same method uh, we have to calculate that is your uh, again sign rule and here you should use the uh, sign P and QR because this method this portion is okay but you have to change the values because in complete sign rule uh, mm, there are three sides and three angles so we are using two two parts that is your sign p but in uh, because in this lecture uh, the sign rule is not simplifying here we are using sign rule in previous lecture we have discussed how to write sign rules and cosine rules and uh, how, how these rules are used uh, anyhow here we are using sign rule because we have to calculate qr so putting the values you need qr once again uh, shifting 
आर साइन आर बाय क्रॉस मल्टीप्लिकेशन क्यू आर इज इक्वल टू साइन पी डिवाइडेड बाय साइन आर एंड मल्टीप्लाइंग द वैल्यू ऑफ पी क्यू सो क्यू आर इज इक्वल टू व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ पी क्यू सो यू हैव टू पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ पी क्यू पी क्यू इज ट्वेंटी फोर एंड साइन पी इज वन सेकेंड शुड यू एंड सेवेंटी टू डिग्री एंड साइन आर इज फोर्टी डिग्री एंड बाय यूजिंग कैलकुलेटर व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ साइन सेवेंटी टू डिवाइडेड बाय साइन फोर्टी मल्टीप्लाइंग बाय ट्वेंटी फोर यू विल गेट दी रिजल्ट व्हिच इज इक्वल टू थर्टी फाइव पॉइंट फाइव किलोमीटर सो दैट इज योर � Eight. Question number eight. A point B is 280 meter due to north of a point A. A man walks from A in a direction of 050 degree. Calculate how far he has to walk before he is equidistant from A and B, as close as possible to B, as due east of B. So uh, we have to draw the diagram first because this is the basic situation. A man is Walking from uh, A to B at uh, 50 degree and covering distance to 8 meter and C. Mm, so that is the uh, north side. That is the A. Now we have to calculate and first equidistance from A to B. Equidistance. Equidistance. It means. Uh, we have to calculate in a portion that is AC and BC. We have to calculate AC and BC because AC and BC these are the equal distance. So we have to calculate as uh, triangle is isosceles because if it is equal distance AC and BC, so this triangle is known as isosceles triangle. And in isosceles triangle, uh, we are well familiar that. AC is equal to BC and also angle A also equal to angle B because it is an isosceles isosceles triangle. Therefore, so by using sine rule, uh, by sine rule, that is sine B. Divided by AC is equal to sine C by AB. So we need AC by using cross multiplication. In this condition, it is equal to uh, sine B by sine C multiplying by AB, which is equal to AC. So putting the values, and you will get the result. That is AC is equal to. Uh, that is uh, sine 50. That is equal to sine uh, 50 degree divided by sine 80 degree multiplying by. But we don't have the distance of AB. That is equal to 280. Okay, so 280 you have a distance, but you don't have the angle 80. How could I know the uh, angle C? Because uh, we don't have angle C uh, here in isosceles triangle it is also 50 degree because the base angles are congruent are equal in isosceles triangle but we don't have C then uh, by using uh, the sum of interior angle is 180 so if A plus B plus C is equal to 180 degree uh, so it is equal to 50 plus 50 but you don't have C and 180 so mm, is equal to 180 minus 100 uh, you will get 
will be value of 80 degrees so the C is 80 so we have already been put here so AC is equal to by simplification you will get 218 meter so 218 meter is equal to this so it is the fact that sum of integer angle is equal to 180 so you should know these are the angles not sides so similarly in uh, B part uh, uh, we have been asked that we have to calculate the uh, close as possible to B. Close as possible to B. In B part, we have to calculate as close as possible to B. That is, we have to find AC. Because AC uh, is the uh, close um, to B. AC is close to B. So it means uh, how possible close to B. So we have to find AC again by using sine rule. Uh, we have to calculate AC by using sine rule. By sine rule sine uh, B divided by AC is equal to sine C. These are the angles divided by AB. You need the value of AC. So the value of AC is equal to AB and multiply by sine B by sine C. So putting the values sine C is equal to AB having 280 uh, sine 40 degree and divided by sine 90 degree. So uh, that is equal to uh, uh, for further detail, you, you must know that um, how close. So, to possible to be, close as possible to be, that is, uh, you are 90, uh, that is a possible distance, that is A, C, B, that is your 40 degree. 90 and that is your 50 degree. In B case, you will see as close as possible to. So, here is your uh, 280 degree. So, I already told you that AC is close to B that is uh, the given condition that is your given uh, diagram so uh, through this we are able to find it that is AC is equal to so after our simplification we will get uh, 180 meter similarly in third portion of the in third diagram we have been asked that due east of B when the man is at east to B that is we have to find what we have to find um, the C portion that is uh, now the condition is like this uh, that is uh, uh, 90 angle 280 meter that is your 40 degree B C A which is given to you 50 degree so due east it means we have to calculate the value of B C B C due east that is north east west and south so again by using sine rule by sine rule sine A divided by B C sine C divided by A B so that is our angle when we take the A so we should take the side B C when we take A we should side use B C because the in sine rule ok a little bit I am going to tell you what I am going to do this one when I take this angle, I, I took the side this one, in front of this angle. 
this side is taken once again if i took this angle i take this side when i took this one then then i take this side we are taking those possible sides which are known to us and which are going to be calculated so and similarly in the same case we are taking that angles which are known to us or which are going to be calculating so that's why we are using that um, type of uh, sign rules so we need the value of dc and this is equal to ab divided by sin c multiplied by sin a so putting the values so <coughs> after putting the values you will get uh, 280 and uh, sin 50 degree uh, then uh, sin 40 degree by using calculator the value of bc is equal to 333.7 meter so that is your result so uh, we have uh, uh, here we have calculated or completed the part C. Uh, my dear student, this exercise is divided into two parts. So today we are uh, completing the, we have completed uh, part number one of this exercise uh, because it takes too much time and it is a very much uh, lengthy exercise. Uh, we can't finish in a single lecture so that is your part number one so thanks a lot thank you for watching